Hi Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 18th through the 24th. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising signs. So Aries, for this reading I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck along with the messages from your Angels Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Alright, let's see here. All right, at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Ten of Rods. Let's see. So, Tens do indicate cycles that are completing. Ten of Rods. Some of you might have a lot on your plate here this week. Um, with the Ten of Rods, it definitely can represent feeling overburdened, overwhelmed, having a lot of different demands or responsibilities, but dealing with them, not dropping this heavy load. This man here is dealing with them. So, you know, even if you are a very, very busy Aries here this week, you have a ton going on, you will handle it. You will definitely handle it. Um, Ten of Rods. Some of you definitely, maybe it's been ongoing. Some of you definitely might have been in a stressful situation. Uh, the overall energy though is the chariot so if you were in a stressful situation something that was definitely weighing on you it wasn't the easiest for you we now have the chariot as the overall energy so this is very good especially in this position the chariot is the ultimate victory card um, but also it is an empowered energy. So you're in the driver's seat Aries and you can steer this chariot exactly where you want to go. So I think that some of you have kind of maybe felt stuck or you were maybe in a challenging situation or it wasn't the easiest for you. But here with the chariot this week, you know, you're in the driver's seat. Some of you might even be choosing to maybe move forward in some way, you know, maybe go a, a different direction physical physically travel in some way um, it's really on you with the chariot here in this position um, and we are starting out with death so death is a very powerful energy endings and new beginnings or something is no longer going to be the same something is definitely changing something's transforming and I think that for some of you with the seven of rods underneath death here, I think that this is exactly what you've wanted. And so I think that some of you, this is what you've been trying to manifest. It hasn't been the easiest here. Uh, I think that you're, you're definitely going through a process here. You're, you're in this process right now, very, very powerful energy with death. It's not always something that happens overnight. It's a process. And I think that, you know, this was you definitely... With the Ten of Rods and the Seven of Rods, like standing firm, not backing down, wanting this so badly, very passionate about this. Um, and so, you know, because you didn't back down, Seven of Rods gets a bad rap. You know, this person, because they don't back down or give up or settle, they're successful. So along with that chariot, you are moving towards success. You know, what it is that you've been fighting for or what it is that you've been dealing with, you will be successful with this. You are going through this great change. And with the Three of Swords here, for some of you, it definitely could be a situation involving three people. Maybe it wasn't the easiest situation. That could be on the love front. It could have been a love triangle, but it definitely does not have to be. It could be a family situation, a work situation. And so I think that some of you maybe have wanted this to end, you know, just ready to move forward ready for this cycle to end. I think that some of you, it's definitely like a three-party situation. For others, I think that this is disappointment um, when it comes to something in your life here. You've been trying to manifest, you know, you've been stressed out by this. Could definitely be some sort of disappointment um, that you've dealt with, but this is energy that you're leaving behind. 
you know, because you have this fiery energy here that's with you this week along with the chariot, you are actually leaving this behind. So if you did suffer some sort of disappointment or even for like a handful of you, maybe some sort of loss, you are actually leaving this energy behind. Now, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles. So news is on its way. News is definitely on its way. And with the Eight of Rods here, for many of you, it's gonna come in maybe when you least expect it. All of a sudden, you know, you're starting to hear, you know, maybe um, hear things. If you are waiting on news or waiting on an opportunity to come your way, it is on its way. It's on its way. And with the Eight of Rods energy, it might happen when you least expect it. Um, when it rains, it pours. And with the Eight of Rods energy, can sometimes be a little bit of like a chaotic energy because everything's happening all at once. But that's, you know, for some of you, that's exactly what you've been waiting on. Um, but we do have news coming in, opportunities for some of you. Now on the work front, that might be an opportunity for you to maybe travel for work, um, to pick up extra hours whatever it may be, but we do have um, news and opportunities coming in. And it, if it is an opportunity on the work front with the Page of Pentacles and then the Four of Pentacles here, you know, again, it could be an opportunity to pick up extra hours. Um, and with the Four of Pentacles, your savings, your, your stability, your security is significant here. So if you have to travel for work or you have this opportunity that's coming in suddenly here, I would say go for it because if you've been trying to save money, if that's something that you've wanted, uh, this opportunity definitely will allow for that. And then we have this King of Rods here, which is fire sign energy. So um, especially you, Aries males, um, definitely could, could be traveling here this week. Things could be happening very quickly for you. That Ten of Rods can indicate you having a lot on your plate, but you will deal with, you will deal with it. Um, and then for you other Aries, of course, a fire sign person could be significant. Another Aries, Leo, or Sag. And again, you know, you might have to travel here this week. You might have a lot going on. Um, but, you know, the King of Rods has a ton of energy. He's incredibly motivated, ambitious, outgoing. He's just <laughs> um, very energetic. So, you know, even though you might have a ton going on, no matter if you're male or female, you're going to deal with it. And just remember that you're the one in the driver's seat here. So, um, definitely an interesting reading. What I'm getting for a few of you, just a handful of you, is that... You have some stuff going on on the love front and you have some stuff going on on the on the financial front and if if you don't work for a living it's on the home front anything to do with the home family matters and I think that some of you some of you just a handful of you are being pulled in two different directions here so there's definitely some stuff going on maybe in your love life and then there's some other stuff going on here. So I think that some of you, you know, that's the, the sort of energy that you're dealing with here this week. Aries is being pulled in two different directions. It's not bad, of course, but that's, you know, it's going to be on you, you know, what is more important? What do you do first? You know, it's really up to you. Um, so definitely a very interesting reading. Let's pull you an additional guidance card. Aries, what else does the Aries need to know? Please show me. A water sign person could be significant. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And then again, uh, maybe another fire sign for some of you as well. All right, actually pulled two cards here. Let's see. Interesting. We have Opal. Your children on earth and in heaven, heaven excuse me, are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So if some of you were worried about a child or worried about your children, if you are worried here this week, there's nothing to worry about. They are protected. So we have Opal and then we have Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Beautiful. 
So it's just confirming, Aries, that you are moving down this path here. You are in this process. There's a lot of change taking place. And it's not happening all at once. But you are, it is happening and you are moving down, um, you know, a smoother path here. This is, this is always a very, very good omen here. So you are moving towards this peace. And if there is a situation maybe going on with your children, maybe it's a custody battle, something like that, um, it's not over yet. If, if, if you went through like some sort of, if, or, or if you had some sort of disappointment previously, um, for some of you, I feel like it's not over yet. So if you're, if you're in like a custody battle and maybe something didn't go your way, um, it, I, I feel like it's not over yet for you. So again, there's nothing to worry about. Feel this energy. You are empowered, Aries, okay? So just know that. Or you have more power in this situation than maybe you realize. Okay, Aries, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you guys a great week.